Alright, so to save some time I've already cleared the screen here, uh, I will actually draw things uh, interactively. Uh, let's say we have a face, and let's not really the face. Anyway, let's say it's a face viewed from the, uh, from the side in some ways. Okay, so that's a face. Uh, and what we have here is a representation that's not a frontal one, but it's kind of a somewhat sidal one. Uh, looking diagonally, uh, and if we have all the faces in this frame of reference, we should be sometimes fine to just sample things along the lines of basically uh, using the uh, uh, coordinates in some ways, like picking some things on the nose. I just pick a different brush here, so we'll take a point in the nose like this, and this is what we have. We have those points. And what we measure in each one of them is the depth. So uh, this is what we give to PCA. Each dot that I show, each dot that I show here is going to be a dimension. Uh, and for lots of these pictures, I'm going to have different values in each dimension, and I'm going to have a multi-dimensional problem. I'm going to fit it to PCA. PCA is going to tell me which values to uh, have some meaningful. Uh, property like you know the nose getting shorter and longer and the uh, cheeks moving around if you have things like uh, like expressions like smiles and whatever so uh, it will be able to tell me what should stay about the same things like the foreheads which probably don't have much interest in but I could actually measure that type of stuff that's the uh, that's the approach on uh, of just taking dots it's not even Euclidean distance okay so although uh, in this case, we're looking at depth, so that's that's one approach. In the next video, I'll look at the next approach, so we can 